Hello everybody, Dan here with The Wealth Instinct. I wanted to share with you my latest blog post, Affiliate Marketing Strategy versus Tactics. But first, if I could ask you a favor, if you could subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so you get notifications when I post new content. I post a lot about business, um, about affiliate marketing, and also personal development. So this article is really based on um, a training that I did recently for my students, and um, I thought it would be a good article to share with you as well. And so really, we talk a lot about strategy versus tactics, and, and even I you know, misuse them sometimes, I think. And so I wanted to kind of get some clarity about what is the strategy and then what are the tactics. So in affiliate marketing, really the strategy is, is pretty simple. It's all about traffic and conversions. You're trying to get more traffic, more people to see your offer, and then a higher per, you know, work on getting some percentage of those people to, to buy the offer and then improving that over time. And so in that, within that strategy, there's a lot of different tactics you can use to get more traffic and to get more conversions. And so we're going to walk through those a little bit. So uh, in terms of traffic, right, the, the two big types of traffic are organic versus paid. And for your affiliate marketing business, you're always going to get more traffic from paid versus organic. And, and that's because it's just so much easier to get paid traffic. Organic traffic takes a lot of content that is SEO optimized with keywords, and it takes time to build that. And if you're someone that already has a big following, you know, usually that was built somewhere. Like you might have built it offline and then you, you were able to capitalize on your offline um, following by bringing it online. But typically, if you're going to have a big online following, it's something you have to build over time by by being consistent, by creating a lot of content, by being, you know, having a niche, by establishing that celebrity authority. So for most people, especially if you're starting, you're going to get a lot more of your traffic from paid sources. Um, but you want to have some organic as well, because the organic is going to establish your authority that you know something about what you're talking about and even if you're just starting and you don't know anything about anything the truth is you you do you know more than you think but also that you're you're going to be choosing an area you want to focus in and then just learning about it and sharing it and the more you do that the more of an expertise you're going to develop over time and if you just stick with it long enough you'll become an expert over time and then in terms of paid traffic there's a lot of different types of traffic you can buy. You can buy traffic from individuals like through solo ads. And so this is kind of the easiest uh, way to get some kind of quick wins. You might get some quick upfront sales through solo ads. And it's it's a lot lower compliance, um, but it's a little bit more inconsistent because every seller is going to have a slightly different list and a different way of, of sharing your offer. Um, then you can buy from platforms. You can buy from Microsoft Ads, used to be called Bing Ads. You can buy from Google. Um, you can buy from social media websites like Facebook. And and those can be good options. The, the downside on those is that it's going to be a little more complicated to set up and work with those platforms. It just takes a little, it's more of a learning curve. And then they can also be more expensive and then they can also have greater compliance issues, right? Because you have to be careful about claims you make and, and things you say uh, in your ads. But you're definitely going to want to have some source of organic traffic and some source of paid traffic. And, and there's various options you can choose and a lot of advantages and disadvantages to those that I go into. Then in terms of your conversions, right, so affiliate marketing is all about traffic and conversion. So in terms of your conversions, you can have automated versus high touch. So automated conversions are really going to be like, you know, you send out an ad, you send out an email, and people click on it, and they see this offer, and it's usually like a low-ticket offer because, you know, there's a lower barrier to, to buy, right? So you want something that's attractive and low-ticket, and, you know, maybe it's discounted, and there's time scarcity, but something designed to get an automated conversion without a lot of human interaction. And... And really, this is what most people want with affiliate marketing. They want to be able to set up a campaign or send out an email. And if your list is big enough and your offer is attractive enough, then you're going to get some return on that. And, you know, this is a good place to get to. And, and it's also, even if you're doing a high-ticket offer or high-touch sell, 
you might want to start with a low ticket high converting offer so the high touch approach is the thing that most people don't want to do and it's it's sort of what um, what a lot of people think of as selling right um, because you have to interact with human beings <laughs> you have to talk to people which is a skill you know it, it's a skill you can learn and it's not about the thing the main thing I think a lot of people have resistance to selling and it's not about convincing people to do something they don't want to do it's about helping people to make a decision um, that they need to make and that will ultimately benefit them but they need someone to walk them through the process and help them understand what it, what it is what it isn't the pros and cons and so to me you know that process is really about service it's about helping other people and when you look at it that way um, you know I think it's something that you know that more people can get behind and the truth is it's a really good skill to learn and so you're, you're but you're typically going to use this high touch approach with higher ticket offers um, which sort of leads us to the next section right so low ticket versus high ticket so low ticket offers obviously are the less expensive ones that are kind of impulse buys that you don't really have to do a lot of work um, to sell you do a lot of upfront work in setting up your campaign and your emails and your autoresponders but people see them and they say oh wow this is valuable and then you discount it a crazy amount and they're like and you give them a limited time and they you know you, you do it when you do it right they're gonna buy and then the high ticket offer are things that are going to be um, more expensive more valuable but you're going to have to educate people more about it. you're going to take a longer time to train them about and so when most people i think think of affiliate marketing they think of promoting a lot of low ticket offers and just sharing about them talking about them you know doing unboxing doing reviews and you know maybe you're you know you're a blogger or you or you have a youtube channel and you just share your thoughts about different products and maybe you get sponsored by different companies or maybe people ask you to promote their products the high ticket offers it's more of like to me it's more you that's where you become a freelance um, professional digital marketer because now you're finding an offer that you can build a campaign around and your campaign is really can be very simple right it's just one ad to one funnel to one offer um, and then one follow-up sequence and you know you might have scripts involved but it's it's a more um, high touch approach for for offers that have a higher commission opportunity and it might start with a low ticket offer just to get people to you know to cover your front end ad costs and to get people sort of in the door and then as they learn about you you might have like an application funnel where they can apply to have an opportunity for a free consultation um, with you and they might have to go through an assistant so but it's, it's a more um, it's an approach where you put a little bit more distance between you and your client so you build up your value and then when you do speak to them you have a very specific way a script that you follow and, and really it's about learning about them letting them share what they're up to and then if if you feel that your offer is a good opportunity for them then you'll tell them that and you know and help them walk help, help walk them to that process of getting started and if you don't think it's a good offer for them then you can tell them this that it's not a good offer for them so you can do it with integrity um, and then in terms of platform so you can build your own website or you can use social media sites so really the, the best thing about your own website is that it gives the most authority and it gives you the most control because because it takes work to build a website obviously you can hire someone um, but it takes work to, to build it and maintain it and it also there's some cost involved so not everyone is is gonna have their own website right it's a, it's a smaller group of people that are gonna do that um, also you can have branded emails uh, attached to your domain which is you know makes you look a lot more professional um, you also have a lot more control with your own website and and you know you're not gonna get kicked off the platform the way you will with some social media sites and um, the downside though is that you there's no real traffic tied to your website right like you've got to build the roads to your website through creating a lot of content you got to create a lot of content you've got an SEO optimize it using strategic keywords 
and you know there's ways to do strategic keyword research um, so it's a longer term strategy but even if you're not getting a lot of organic traffic through your website uh, the good thing is that you're still establishing uh, your celebrity authority you're you're you're, uh, you're establishing yourself as an authority in your niche someone who is a professional who, who knows what they're talking about who creates content and then there's other options right like using Facebook Facebook is so easy it's like a prefab website you just need to customize it and upload your content and it's attached to a traffic store and it's attracted to organic traffic so it's it's got like so much traffic available and 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 the cool thing about Facebook is you can you can post almost anything to it right like you could you could post something the equivalent of a tweet on there you know just a short comment you can post something the equivalent of a meme like you would do on Instagram or you could post a short video like you might do on TikTok or you can post longer videos like you might do on YouTube so it's a very versatile platform um, you can you can boost your posts you can promote your website you can sell ads on Facebook so it's easy to get started it's you know the the account itself is free you do have to pay for traffic you know like anywhere but you do get your organic extended reach from people that find you and then share you your content so um, the downside of course is that there's there are a lot more compliance issues a lot more rules you can get shut down so you do have to be careful about about that kind of stuff but it can be a really good quick way just to get started but whatever you do the most important thing is to just get started do something right because that's the only way you learn you can read about stuff you can do research you can watch videos but the only way to learn is to is to start and take action um, just start and you know start posting start things that you like you know products that you like or um, books that you've read just start sharing and and becoming known as someone who shares valuable content with people because that's really what your business is about it's not about a specific offer per se it's about you being someone who has a valuable opinion and knows about a certain niche or topic and who's willing to share and tell people um, about things that are valuable and then over time you'll find products that you can promote that'll get you commissioned so there's a link here at the bottom that I highly recommend it's for a training for the Entre Blueprint and it's it's the best training I found it really walks you through all the different options available and it's going to help you understand what your options are and if it's if digital marketing or digital online business is even a good option for you right like you might be thinking about it but you're not sure it'll help you understand if if it is a good option for you and then if it is which path which diff, which business model would make the most sense for you and then if if you do want some more help and support and coaching in terms of an education in terms of creating that um, that's also available um, down the road if, if that interests you so thank you Thank you, thank you so much for watching and listening. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments. And we will talk soon. Take care.